Susan Wilson remembers the day her husband was hit by an alleged drunk driver while riding his bike home from work. And she remembers those four little words that changed her life forever. He didn't make it. Wilson buried Jim Jones, the man who had walked beside her for 37 years. And then she prepared to face the man who had killed him in court. I felt like I needed to be there for Jen. Was it your intention to be at any of those critical hearings or moments within this case? Oh, yes. I wanted to be there through the whole thing. But the day District Attorney Deborah Gonzalez offered Luke Waldrop a plea deal, Wilson was not in court because no one called to tell her until right before the hearing. It was so horrifically unjust. And it's a violation of Marcy's Law, which protects victims' rights. It says victims of violent crimes in Georgia have the right to be notified of hearings and when an offender is released from jail or prison. And they have the right to be heard in court when key decisions are made. And it is going to take those jurisdictions being held publicly accountable to get people to pay attention. Victims rights advocate Derek Marchman says people like Wilson can sue, but rulings just point out something went wrong. They don't generally change the outcome and there is no money. So it's hard to get an attorney to take the case. We have come so far, but we have a long way still to go. That's why he's advocating for a system like Ohio, where victims of crimes like rape can be partnered with an attorney advocate from the beginning. From the forensic exam at the hospital for a sexual assault case, all the way through to make sure their rights are met. Marchman says that keeps victims engaged in the judicial process. For now, he hopes Georgia's effort to build an automated notification system will help. There is a mechanism in the middle of the night that they can you know, hit that button on the app and be able to find what's happening. In Athens, Clark County, where the DA has come under fire for violating victims' rights, 11 Alive Investigates found more than a dozen cases dismissed last year because the DA's office couldn't find the victim or they were uncooperative. I was trusting that I would be kept informed. While Wilson's voice in court that day may not have changed the outcome, she would have had a chance to remind everyone why they were there, to tell the story of a 68-year-old man that was still living a life full of adventure. He had always imagined that if he, when he met his demise, he would be out hiking or rock climbing or caving because those were all things he loved to do. Being hit from behind was the last thing we thought about happening.